Good evening and welcome to the Whiskey Lover Society with me Gert Rattief and tonight we are looking at a smokehead rum rebel from the independent bottler Ian McLeod 46% ABV, natural color, non-chill filtered so um, yeah, um, this is the second smoke head that I'm trying. The previous one was the high voltage. I kind of like it. Um, I'm full disclosure. I'm not a big peat fan, um, but sometimes I find a little bit of a diamond in the rough. And of course, with my subscribers pointing me in the different directions, giving me a little feedback on well if you don't like this one aka Lafroy 10 year old maybe try this one do a little bit of that and um, yeah and enjoying the journey into all the different type of whiskies with me so I'm quite excited to give this one now this was recommended by quite a number of people that do say that uh, smoke it take something that could be a little bit mediocre and then they create something really nice. So quite looking for this one. I did pour it about 20 minutes ago um, from previous experience. Sometimes it helps um, to get rid of that volatiles, uh, that molecules that could be a little bit offensive. Of course, this is a no age statement whiskey. I did not go do the research to see where it comes from. Normally, it's very difficult. They don't disclose um, the distillery where they source the whiskey. And um, so, yeah, I don't want to give you wrong information. So I rather keep my mouth shut. And um, it's all about the, the nosing, the tasting. And of course, the, my subscribers, they know what I like in whiskey. I try to keep an open mind. I try to give you information about how it tastes like. And um, of course, if you feel that your nosing and tasting aligns with mine, then of course um, you know if it's going to be a good one for you or not. So rant and rave all over color wise. Um, it is a no age statement whiskey, but it's got a nice little golden color to it. Um, there is a little bit of a viscosity. Um, you can see the long, slow legs forming and just slowly running down the glass. So a little bit of a viscosity to this one. Now on the nose, cheers. Now, it is a rum cost. I'm not even sure if I did tell you that already. Um, it is finished in X rum cask. Not a lot of information which type of rum, where it's from. But on the nose, it is lovely. It is a lot of sweetness coming through. A lot of vanillas coming through. Definitely not a complex one. Now, if I do agitate it a little bit and I stick my nose in it, that youthful component definitely kicks in. It's um, that ethanoly. A um, little nail polish remover coming in. Definitely get that 46% ABV, but still not really offensive. I think that rum cost does hide some of the ethanoly notes, that sweetness that comes out. So definitely quite a lot of rum may be left in that cask, especially with the color that was extracted. But it is nice. That caramel note coming through. And then that smoke also. Now when I first poured it, um, it was quite a lot of smoke in it. I could definitely feel it immediately. But now it's calmed down a little bit. And it is pleasant smoke. There is a little bit of um, uh, creosote in it. A little bit of a tarry note. There's a little bit of a, a, a oaky note coming through as well. And but that vanilla is definitely coming through the most. Now, gram wise, I'm, I'm not 100% on a blind. I would not have picked it up as rum. More maybe ex bourbon 
Um, but it is, it is okay. A little bit of a creme brulee and a little bit of a, a spicy note. A um, little uh, nutmeg type of spice coming through. So pleasant on the nose. Definitely not offended. On the taste, cheers. Ooh. <clears throat> on the taste, it's nice. It's very sweet. Loads of vanilla, a little bit of a creamy toffee note. And um, there's a little bit of a medicinal note coming in as well, but it's still not offensive. It's quite uh, pleasant actually. It reminds me a little bit of the, um, I would say, the Lejec 10, to almost similar to that in taste, um, but a little bit more gentle for me. There's a little bit of um, a smokiness coming through on the nose, a little bit like a, a cigarette smoke uh, or as cigarette ash um, type of note, but still not offensive, and um, I'm not a smoker, so definitely not really offensive on the nose. Let me just try it again on the taste. There's a little bit of an oiliness there. There's a little bit of a... Um, almost like a chocolate note, but a little bit of a bitterness of a... I just had a chocolate uh, about an hour ago, a small piece of 85% uh, chocolate. And um, it is, it, I got that similar note to it, um, but not so a powerful note, but more a little bit on that bittery note. Not a bitter one. I don't think it spent enough time in a course to pick up a lot of that bitter tannins, um, a well-balanced whiskey. That's the, the peat level is just perfect for me. Um, it does not remind me of a hospital and TCP type of notes. I think the nice balance between the sweetness and the peat makes it just a perfect one for me and something that I'm really enjoying. Now that's two for two on the smokehead. I know they also have quite a number of expressions that they are creating. And I think that is the, most of these distilleries are doing this now. Um, they have like 20 odd different expressions, different types of wood, different ABVs. So it becomes a little bit difficult to find one that is really um, hits the spot. Now, um, if you know of another um, smoke it that you think it is much better than these ones, please let me know in the comment um, and I will try to source some and of course give it a nosing and tasting and a review. And of course, as usual, um, let me know in the comments. Um, what do you think? Is it something that you've tried? Is it something that you would encourage your friends um, to give it a try? Especially your non peated whiskey friends that don't like peated whiskies. Give them a go. Give them a little sample. Um, let them tell you and give me some feedback on that as well. And of course, as usual, please remember to like, share and subscribe. And I see you next time. Cheers.